Right, well, I'm here with Joel Rothwell. Yeah. Did I pronounce that right? Joel, yeah. I Joel. was literally going to say Joel, and it was just the most no, embarrassing Joel. thing, because obviously it's... Flash. Right, well, <laughs> you just performed an amazing set. Thank you. Um, tell us a bit about your style and your music. Where are you from? So, I'm from Manchester, 22. Um, my sound's changed over the years, to be fair. Um, but I've been writing music since I was like 15 with my sister. Okay. And yeah, I mean, I've always kind of loved the like the Shawn Mendes kind of acoustic guitar sound. But I also am massively into like my house music and my dance music. So I wanted to combine the two. So it's kind of like Shawn Mendes meets Golden City now. Well, I do like Shawn Mendes. Good. <laughs> you can introduce me to the other half of that. So yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so you started writing when you were 15. Mm. And how old are you now? 22. 22. So what has changed in terms of your writing and your style? Um, I think it's, I mean, sometimes we write a song a lot quicker, um, but we, we can easily tell like when a song is just rubbish, like the lyrics are rubbish. Like, because I work with my sister, um, both of us are very quick to say something's, I don't know if I can swear. Go for but it. It's we're very quick PG. to say something's shit. Yeah. So if she's writing something shit, I'll tell her straight away. Whereas if you're writing with people that you're not familiar with, or you're <laughs> being put in a session that you can sometimes waste time by not just getting to the point. Because it's too polite. So me and her are very, very quick in, in terms of being direct and what we want to do and what the sound is. And we were very fortunate to work with a guy called Toby Scott over summer, who's worked with Little Mix and Gorgon City and a few people. <clears throat> and he recorded our songs and we got the sound that I was looking for, so... Good. Shout out to Toby Scott. Shout out to Toby. Yeah, he's the man, right. <laughs> um, so you said you write with your sister. Yeah. And you still do? Yeah, yeah, all the time. She's been texting me whilst I've been on the road saying she's got a few ideas awesome. ready for when we get back. And she's, so I'm the youngest of five. Yeah, and she's the, the eldest. too. She's the eldest, so mm. it's quite, quite yeah. good. It's quite good. The dynamic. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So she's not on the road with you. No. No. She and got two kids, so. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So that obviously makes things hard. Um, but this is really awesome because obviously you just released your debut single last yes. week, didn't you? Beautiful yes, I did. Monster. Beautiful Monster, yeah. Now tell Spotify. me, inspiration for that. Um, Give me the lowdown. The song, it was like, we had the concept, like me and my sister had the concept for, for a while. And the song's changed. The song's changed so many times. Okay. Um, and the first kind of, because I record everything into my phone as a voice memo, uh, the first idea was actually like 2015, <laughs> and I've still got it on my phone, and it sounds rubbish. Oh, that's so cute. But you can hear it. Um, but yeah, it, but it really kind of took its shape over the summer with Toby. It finally came what I wanted it to be, and that's when I knew we kind of, we had to release it, and it was the number one single for me. So yeah. So why that song over perhaps any other song you've written? Um, well, it was bet between a choice of three out of all the songs that we've, we've got uh, so far. Um, Beautiful Monster, Just Don't Know, and Satellite, of which I played both of those other two songs um, just on stage. Yeah. And I just feel like Beautiful Monster is more of a welcoming sound, if that makes sense. It appeals to all audiences, all ages, all ages. True, you don't want to put out your bus yeah. completely. Yeah, I mean, Just Don't Know is, is getting released next on the 23rd, and I love that song, but it's just like, for people, it might be a bit too heavy on the How like so? the, hand, the house side, it might be a bit too heavy on the dance side. So, yeah, I just wanted to get something out that I love, but appeals to everyone as the first kind of introduction to right. me. Okay. So, yeah. Well, obviously, because you, so you are a songwriter as well, so you have a lot of songs in the bank. Mm. So when can we expect, like, an EP or an album? So th I don't know, because I'm releasing the next song on the 23rd, just don't know. Mm -hmm. And then Satellite will be next after that. And I'm, I've just done the artwork for it. So I'm pretty sure that comes out on the 9th of December. Okay. So that's technically an EP. Technically. Although, like, I've not released it all three together. Mm -hmm. It's technically an EP. So, I don't know, we'll just have to see. We'll release these three and then um, see what happens in the new year. I mean, I've got songs ready to go. It's just a case of when to release them and how we release them. 
So where do you kind of see um, your musicality and your direction going in terms of, you know, like songwriting? Are you thinking, all right, I'm going to, you know, you're going to try to make it big here or maybe you're going to try to like expand like your audience to the U.S. and I, I think I've always kind of said, I've always said that like if I started to take off in the U.K., so I'm just so tired, I've done no. two, three, three shows. Um, yeah, so I've always said that um, I would stick in the UK, I would stay in the UK, mm. only unless it blew up so big that I was forced to go to the US. It's so like, you, you never know if that's gonna happen. It's, it's you can't bank on that. It's but I'd always say that I would stick around in the UK and, and build a solid foundation here. Because I hate when, when English eyes do well here and then they try and go make it in America mm. and then they get forgotten about and then when they try and yeah. renew themselves here it just doesn't work mm. so I'd just stay true to the UK awesome <laughs> yeah um, I never thought about it that way um, but that's really cool and obviously you're touring a lot of unis this week um, yes yeah how does that feel because obviously we're all similar I, age and it's yeah like, yeah uh, it's cool because I mean, I didn't really go to uni. All my friends did. I was just doing music, and I went to I went to BIM, which is a music uni kind of thing. I only did that for a year. So it's cool being able to walk on campus, because I've never done that before. <laughs> never had a campus. But yeah, I, I, I'm loving it so far. I think I think I need to go on vocal rest after this, because I've just been <laughs> shouting and singing way too much. Oh yeah, Bodie was like, I've lost my voice. Yeah. I can't even tell. Them. I know, it feels like we've been on tour for... A week, but it's only been three days. Goodness, you gotta shape up. This mm. is gonna be your future. I know, but it's two, three shows a day. It's not no, easy. I'm no, I'm just joking. But like, you're doing really well, and I'm really happy that, um, you know, the reception was quite, quite good tonight. Yeah, I think we got lucky with, with those <laughs> lads. Could have well, gone either way, to be honest. I mean, it's Bristol. Well, that's where. I mean, I don't know. What I'm saying it, but I feel like when you're a male singer a lot of girls or some girls will warm to you better mm. that makes sense yeah I guess um, or yeah so when I'm singing I'll kind of sing to them whereas tonight was predominantly predominantly if I can get the word out predominantly I got it was, was mostly lads so it was a real test to see how they would take it and they loved it so hmm. I think we're on for a winner <laughs> interesting so you usually sing to the girls well well, yeah well who doesn't love yeah. to sing to girls I don't know <laughs> Obviously, you have the talent too, so thank you, <laughs> you thank can you. get away with it. And I just kind of want to ask last few questions about your song writing and um, music. So, do you have like a favorite chord progression or a chord? A chord progression? Wow. Because um, I've asked this before. Favorite chord? No, well, but... I would say E minor. I always kind of start there, but then I quickly move away from it because <laughs> I always start in E minor. Yeah. Or actually, B minor. Like recently, I've been writing a lot in B minor, which is just it's a good good chord. Good chord. Are, are you like? What, how do you feel about the standard um, two, five, six, one chord progression that's used in every pop song? Well, it's like, pop, isn't it? So, like, the greatest songs you'll ever hear are just C, G, A minor, and mm. F, or whatever. Like, that's the point. It's, but it's not about the chords. It's how you it's how you make the chords sound and, and what you're actually singing about and the lyrics and so everything that comes with it because at the end of the day, people people don't want to be listening to things that complicate them like, <laughs> like that's 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 how it is that's, that's the world of living of but yeah if you can make feel someone enjoy what we're listening to. like if i can make someone enjoy what i'm playing i don't care yeah. what chord it is like, i don't care what progression it is as long as it's good and people like it i think that I'm nicely happy. sums up there your you perspective on all that I, I did i could i did classical music when i was at school and i hated it but then as soon as i stopped doing it i loved it and I was listening to it, like, so, I don't know. And jazz, I love to have a glass of wine and listen to it in the background, but I would never really put it on my Spotify playlist. I mean, fair enough. I mean, you <laughs> found your own style, what you like, and it seems you have a clear sense of direction. Yes. So, best of luck with all of that. Thank you very much. Looking forward to the new song release on the 23rd. The 23rd, yes. Yeah, and the next one, the 9th of December. Yes, looks like that. Ooh, very specific dates. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, but... Best of luck with everything. I know, thanks for having me. It's of course, good. and you played a really good set. Tonight, Thank you very so. much. Thank you. Awesome.